A federal judge temporarily blocks the enforcement of key parts of New York's new gun law. Here to break it down for us is Brian Wagner. He's a criminal defense attorney here in the city, and he is a former senior prosecutor for the DA's office in Brooklyn. Mr. Wagner, thanks for staying up late with us. Thank you so much for having me. Sure. So what does this mean for the gun-free zone in Times Square? It just went into effect last month. Is it on hold while the state attorney general appeals so what happens is for the next three days it's on hold uh, pursuant to a temporary restraining order and also known as a temporary injunction and then after those three days it'll be struck and until a larger hearing is held in a couple of weeks when the judge can decide whether or not it's completely unconstitutional what we expect is the attorney general and the state of new york to appeal that and seek basically in order vacating that temporary restraining order. So help us better understand this. Justice Clarence Thomas previously wrote that a state had to justify a regulation by demonstrating that this law is consistent with the nation's historical tradition of firearm regulation. That's what he wrote. Now tell us what that means. So that's one of the biggest questions it, because it's unclear. And what the federal judge in this case said is, you know, he's looked at previous statutes and he's only found two other statutes in New York that were somewhat similar. And because of that, he actually allowed certain regulations to stay in effect. For example, you can, according to the new law, you weren't allowed to hold a gun in a house of worship. That was allowed to stay, but on the other hand, and also in polling places, mm -hmm. but on the other hand, someplace like Times Square or the subway system where you expect cops to be readily available, that you cannot restrict. And there you are allowed to conceal and carry a weapon. So if the attorney general loses the appeal, will the city, in your view, to the best of your understanding, I know you don't work for the city, but will the city have any other options to keep weapons out of sensitive locations, as they're called, like Times Square? You know, I don't think so. Mm. But part of this we have to keep, keep in mind is a lot of the shootings and other violent crimes that we're seeing are not from people that legally own guns. They are people that do not have a gun license and so some of this is somewhat academic but at the end of the day the city and the state of new york have an interest in making sure those densely populated areas are safe and if they think that is by not allowing people even legally to possess guns in those areas that would seem to be a justifiable right attorney brian wagner appreciate your time tonight